The trouble seems to be unending for former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan. He was ousted from his office in April this year. Since then, he has been trying to rally his supporters behind him. But he is also facing problems at multiple ends. In the latest, the Pakistani court is all set to indict the ousted Prime Minister on charges of contempt of court. And if these charges are proven, this could lead to his disqualification from politics. The verdict was passed by five-member bench at Islamabad High Court. Khan is accused of threatening a judge who ruled against one of his close aides facing treason charges. Last month, in a public rally, Khan vowed to not spare the judges. The court will indict Khan at a hearing on September 22nd. The judges had given Khan several chances to reconsider an earlier response to the court in which he expressed regret over the remarks rather than giving an outright apology. The judges also warned Khan's lawyers repeatedly, accusing Khan of not understanding the sensitivity of the matter. In such a contempt case, the accused are required to tender unconditional apology without any justification, clearly stating that they leave themselves at the mercy of the court. Khan's aides described his legal issues as an attempt to knock him out technically after seeing his growing popularity among people since his ouster in April. Since then, Khan has been holding political rallies, mastering support and demanding fresh elections, which his successor, Prime Minister Sheba Sharif, and his coalition government have refused. Khan is also facing anti-terrorism charges in the same case of threatening the judge and Islamabad's police chief. He is on bail in that case. The ruling has fueled more political instability in the South Asian nation of 220 million people. And for more on the story, we on correspondent Anas Malik has sent us this report from Islamabad. The Islamabad High Court has set uh, 22nd September as the indictment date of uh, the former Pakistani Prime Minister Imran Khan on his alleged contemptuous remarks that he made against a judge uh, which were said to be threatening. Uh, Imran Khan was given at least two occasions to clear his stance, uh, but uh, his uh, both uh, both the times his written arguments or his written set of uh, explanations were not satisfactory enough. And the reason now the court has decided to charge sheet him. Now this means that a formal trial will begin and uh, only a trial will hold him to account whether he is guilty or not of uh, committing contempt of court while ma making those uh, comments against a sitting judge. Uh, there were some really interesting exchanges today in the court uh, to the point that Justice Atar Minhala, the Chief Justice of Islamabadiya High Court, had said that district courts are their red lines. Uh, there were references, the, the uh, hearing went on for about three hours and after that the ruling was given that uh, Imran Khan is to be charge sheeted on this 22nd of September. So more trouble though a long haul because the case will then formally begin if Imran Khan pleads uh, not guilty and then the, for, then the case is to begin formally and uh, only a trial will decide whether or not Imran Khan is guilty of the contempt of court charge or not. In case if he's found guilty then he can be disqualified as per what the court settles down to, it can be at least five years or can be up to a greater number. That is something that the court has to decide. Anas Malik in Islamabad, Pakistan for Beyond World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.